Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have, oh you pep, we have the new SBC Pepe card to review today. I call him Pepe because some people call him Pepe, but Portuguese is like, oh you pep. <laughs> Six foot two, medium high work rates, right footed, two star skills, three star weak foot. Uh, for this team, Ruben Diaz has a four star weak foot. So what we're going to actually do here is we're just going to rotate them. I'm going to put that over there. Oh, good stuff. Oh, this team is actually solid. I like this. Uh, but yeah, with Pepe, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is someone who has a dive into tackle straights. That's already a huge plus for this card. Guys, by default, you guys know I'm going to do this SBC. Like, there's just no there's no question about it, okay? Uh, In-game attributes. This card's going to have 94 acceleration, 96 for sprint speed, which is pretty good for the meta of the game for sure. Definitely uh, very, very nice. This card actually has some shooting capabilities, too, at a 61 for finishing, 84 for shot power for a center back. Interesting. Uh, passing on the card, very nice as well. 89 for short passing, 86 for a long passing. This card is going to be working with 92 for reactions at a 92 for composure, which is in a pretty decent area as well. Uh, he does have 70 agility, 74 for balance, and then 70 for dribbling with a high and average plus body type. So guys, here's the thing, okay? For the meta of this game, usually, when you have pace and you're a big player, these guys are the most ideal players to have in this game for interceptions, for certain uh, tackles that the players end up making. With Pep, we're taking a look at someone who's going to have really, really good defensive stats on a shadow chemistry style, right? Defensive awareness is low, sure, but the card is a medium high worker to player, and that's the most important thing when it comes to looking at this bad boy. He even has a heading accuracy too, uh, which is pretty cool because he also has absolutely fantastic physical capabilities, too. The card is going to have 97 aggression, 90 for strength, at a 92 for jumping. So for a Portuguese center back, for a center back that we need for the Liga Noge, we're already looking absolutely beautiful for this card, okay? Really, really good stuff. Uh, with this team that we have, might I suggest something, Guillo? I know that you do the first order thing, but I would put Guerrero over there on the left side, and then I would get, like, a Pedro Poro, but... Uh, that's just me. Hey, that's just me. Uh, guys, with this card in-game, we're going to be testing out defensive capabilities. So honestly, we could do press after possession loss. I honestly don't mind uh, because we're mainly going to be trying out this card in that center back position to see what he's like defensively. So yeah, let's go see how he plays in-game. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, I thought I scored that. I always give him the ball because we're defending, but holy... His movement there so far wasn't too bad when I was controlling him. I actually like that. Oh, look at look at these guys. The baldies. I love it. Oh, we'll take that. Thank you, Pepe. Animation there. Perfectly fine. As long as we give him that little direction there to shoot at the goal. Look around switch. Oh, we didn't get that one. To be fair though, guys, like I was really out of position, but he still did pretty well there. Well done. AI wise watches the law pass the entire time. I'll trigger defense. Beautiful switch. Yeah, so that one he got caught on the inside. Not really his fault, right? We're not controlling what we should be controlling there. Ooh, give me that. Come on. Round two. Switch off him, let him go back into position. Yeah, it's me actually controlling it. I like that it actually locked on there, though. I'll take that. Actually pressing the taco button there. That whole situation was a little bit weird, but we made it work. Well done, Pepe again. 
Legron switch. Make that pass. There you go. Eh, that's just FIFA mechanics. I don't really blame him for that. They do be weird on those ones. Yeah, Pepe sees, sees the empty spot there and goes for the interception. Quaresma's the best in the game! Good challenge. Well done. AI defending there, I didn't actually do that. No, give it back. I gotta switch to my defenders here. Let him track back. Let him track back. Don't control him. If you control him, he's at, he's literally slower. Not even joking. Yeah, I just have to block the general middle area there. To be fair, even though he's offside, um, he did lock onto the ball right away and try to go for the clearance. Give me that! Well, three play, three play. I'm gonna pass it upwards here, actually. No, too far. Thank you. The best player in the game! Oh, he got that one. No. I try to get the slot. I actually did do the side challenge myself, by the ways. Yep, clearance for that one too. Oh no, he didn't even actually go for the header there. That was weird. Ooh, possession based slide challenge. Oh, the best player in the game almost had you again. Nice, Pepe. Nice, just snaps it too. Well done, Pepe, my boy. Are you, Pep? Hey, at least we did okay there. We did okay. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new SBC Pep card. So guys, in regards to how he performs in game, uh, this card is an absolute W for the SBC value. Now, don't get me wrong, he's not gonna be on the level of someone like a team of the year, Ruben Diaz, or a flashback Varane, or anything like that. But SBCs like this are always appreciated because one, it gives you absolutely solid links to work with in the Portuguese league as well as Portuguese links in general. This card was really, really needed for the meta of the game because guys, he has a combination of different things that makes him great. So what's the quote unquote bad things for the meta of the game? So obviously uh, with his pace set up the way that it is with his dribbling, when it comes to the chase after animation, you know, going after a person, uh, because he is a high and average plus body type, he's not going to feel the most agile at chasing someone. Like Ruben Diaz, if you guys use Ruben Diaz in a three back, literally no problem. That card is absolutely disgusting this year, right? So yeah, not going to be on that level. But guys, listen, man. For, what is this, 25k? For a 25k SBC, you give this card a shadow chemistry style. You're working with fantastic defensive capabilities with really, really good physical stats. Traits in game, he has this absolute beauty of a trait, which will save you on a lot of occasions, okay? Because most people in this game don't really use three at the back, right? They'll usually use a four at the back. Would I still use this card in a three at the back formation playing as that center back playing right through the middle? Absolutely, 100%. Even if I'm getting outpaced, I'm still going to use this card. But it's definitely going to be a card that most people are going to be using on a four-back formation. So when it comes to the chase after, if you want someone that feels a little bit more agile, obviously not going to be that type of guy. But a card that has that trait, who is this big in game because the six foot two height, high and average plus body type, we're talking about an auto defender, ladies and gentlemen. That's just how it works uh, with these kind of guys when it comes to these SBCs and these kind of players. All that stuff. Listen, today's FC Porto days because they dropped an Iker Casillas Icon Moments card and then they dropped uh, an FC Porto Pep card. I mean, like, you can't go wrong with that, right? And obviously, guys, the SBC is a W. Obviously, most people on football enjoy it. 
It's just kind of how it works, man. I, I really like this SPC today. Two Ws today, because Iker Casillas, by the way, is actually not that bad. You just have to be careful because of the heights, because in FIFA, the heights of 6 foot 5, 6 6, six, six are always the guys uh, that you know perform the best. But uh, for FC Porto links, you cannot go wrong with how these guys perform in game. Absolutely. So listen, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.